Welcome to this demonstration of the new XComment Pro software for adding commenting and rating systems to your website's pages. This very quick video demonstration is designed to show you just how simple it can be to add feature-rich commenting to your website in just a matter of minutes. So looking at the XComment Pro software, the screen that we see in front of us now is what we see when it's first loaded. And I just want to highlight, first of all, the four tabs, the four sections of the XComment Pro software, they being the Step 1 Design tab, the Step 2 Settings tab, the Step 3 Publishing tab, and the Step 4 Instructions tab. And that's pretty much the linear process that we will step through in embedding a new commenting system from scratch into our web page. I need to point out at this stage one very important point, and that is that the XComment Pro software is compatible with all major website authoring packages. So that includes Dreamweaver, FrontPage, ExpressionWeb, Excite Pro, of course, and it can also be used to embed commenting manually directly into the HTML source code if you prefer editing your web pages that way. So it really is a flexible tool that can be used with any website design solution out there on the market today. So the first step that we're going to work through, of course, is step one, this design tab that we're looking at right now. You've got some settings on the left-hand side, options for features and functionality that we can choose to have or not to have in our commenting system. We could also, as we mouse over different features within this preview window here, with an option highlighted yellow and so selected, click on an option to change that option's advanced properties. We're not going to do that though for this demonstration. I'm going to be happy accepting the default look and feel, the appearance of my commenting system. So I'm going to go straight from step one onto step two, and that's adjusting the settings. And of course that's accessed by clicking on the step two tab here. So we've already completed one of four steps. The step two tab contains a whole bunch of different settings that we could fine tune to make sure our commenting system behaves exactly how we want it to behave. Now, as I mentioned at the top of this video, there is a full manual that accompanies the XComment Pro software. And in that you'll find detailed explanations of each and every one of those different settings. So for now, we're just going to make the bare minimum of changes just so that we can move through this quick start guide nice and easily. And the only change I'm going to make here is to put an email address in here to which I would like XComment Pro to send any of its notifications. Again, more details of which are in the manual. And I'm going to proceed to step three, the publishing tab. On the publishing tab here, we have some simple FTP connection details. We have the address to which we can publish our website and our commenting system here. We have the username and password, obviously to give us access to that hosting account. And we have the directory into which we plan to publish both our website and our commenting. This will mirror the settings that you have used when publishing your website on which you're going to add the commenting system. To just double check, go ahead and press the test FTP connection button at the bottom here. And you'll see that XComment Pro quickly checks and in this case has successfully connected to that hosting account using the settings I provided. So I can click OK. Now, the final thing we need to do on this tab is click the Publish Files button. We get a quick notification in this instance saying that we haven't yet changed the admin username and password, one of the settings within the Step 2 tab we passed through. But that's OK for now for this demonstration. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Clicking OK brings up this publishing dialog window here and we can see that XComment Pro is busy uploading all of the files necessary to actually drive our commenting system. And with those files uploaded, this button in the top left hand corner turns to a close button which we can click. We're now back at the uh, XComment Pro publishing tab. I'm just going to take a moment to click the save button up here in the top left hand corner of the toolbar just to save the changes that I've made to this file under a name that I'll recognize later on when I come to inserting it into my web page. So let's call this one XComment Pro Quick Start Demo. Okay, so having given it a file name and some notes, I'm going to click the Save button. And that's just saved our progress so far, and we're ready to move on to the final stage. We've actually created our commenting system now and uploaded it, so the final step is to actually plug it into our web page. And we can do that in one of two ways. The first way is by going to the Step 4 tab here, the Instructions tab. This is where you need to go if you are using any of Dreamweaver, Front Page, Expression Web, or indeed if you're creating your content manually, say using Notepad. 
these three pieces of code here that I'm just highlighting, the top piece there, the middle piece, and the bottom piece of code, are what you would need to copy and paste into the described areas of your web page source code. So just to explain that in a little more detail, we would take, for example, this first little snippet of code and paste it into our web page source code before the opening head tag, as described in the descriptive text above it. The second piece of code here we would take and we would add into the actual head section of our web page source code. So between the opening head tag and the closing head tag, again as described in the text above. And then finally, we would take this last little snippet of code and insert that into the actual body of the source code for the web page in question. So between the opening body tag and the closing body tag. That's all we would need to do to actually embed the system into our web page. There is one other step that you would need to undertake, and obviously that's denoted here by the step four important message, and that is to make sure that any web page on which you feature this commenting system must be renamed with the file extension .php, as explained in this piece of text. That's important because this commenting system is a PHP-based system, which the great news is, of course, will run on 99% of web hosting accounts. So that was one of the methods that you can use to embed this commenting system into your web page. If you're lucky enough to have Excite Pro, there's another way, which means we don't even have to use this Step 4 tab at all. I'm going to demonstrate inserting the commenting system into an Excite Pro web page right now, just to show you how easy it is. If I hop over to Excite Pro, here we have a page open already. In the Design tab, we're looking at the actual web page content, as most of you that use Excite Pro will, of course, be familiar with. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually now insert my commenting system below this piece of text here, this block of text. To do that, all I'm going to do is position my cursor where I want the commenting system to appear, right-click, and then from the right-click menu that appears, go up to the Insert Comments menu option and click it. So clicking that menu option, as you can see here, loads a window which is listing all of the different X Comment Pro projects that we've been working on. So what we can see here in the list is the one that we just saved a couple of minutes ago, the X Comment Pro Quick Start Demo. And all I'm going to do is click once upon the thumbnail on the left hand side to select it and finally click the load button at the bottom of the window there. And clicking that load button, as we can see here, embeds the commenting system placeholder frame into the Excite Pro web page. Now, there's only one more change that we need to make before we can now publish this web page and allow our visitors to start adding comments to our site. And that is to head over to the Settings tab here, and within the Settings, we need to change the extension of the file name for this page from .html to .php. With that simple but very important change now made, we just need to go ahead and publish our web page, which of course in Excite Pro we do by clicking this Publish button just here. So we go ahead and confirm, yes, we want to publish, and we'll see Excite Pro will now upload all of those files, including this new PHP page with our commenting system newly embedded, ready for us to actually start collecting comments and ratings from our visitors. So what we'll do is we'll just fast forward the publishing process right now. So now that the files are all uploaded, all we need to do is click the Open Website button and browse to the page in question. And with that web page now loaded, I'm going to scroll down beneath that piece of text. Here indeed is our commenting system, which initially doesn't look a great deal, but if we actually click the link to start us off, we can add our very first comment. So we can add some information there, click the Add Comment button, okay, and then you'll see as we scroll down, there is now a comment listed there. So to recap, within X Comment Pro, we had four steps. We could customize the look and feel in the Design tab here. We can change the settings for all manner of features and functionality within the application here. We can then publish our commenting files using the Publishing tab. And we can then choose on step four, either whether we want to insert it using Excite Pro with the right-click menu, or we could take these snippets of code and enter these into any of the major website authoring applications such as Dreamweaver, FrontPage, and so on. Very simple, just took us about 10 minutes. We've taken our web page, which was static content, and we've made it interactive, more engaging by adding commenting and rating to our site.